Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I run the blog lifefromthevielasection.com where I share my favorite practice tips, general advice, and tech for musicians. I've been wanting to make a video about going to grad school for music for the last year, maybe two years since I started grad school and I could never quite figure out what to say because I wanted it to be a very planned out and definitive video. But the longer it takes me to make that video, I think the more I realize that I can't make it planned out and definitive. So right now I'm going to give you my thoughts on going to grad school as a musician from someone who did just that and I graduated last May 2021. So it's only been about six months since I've been graduated. I've hardly lived any life so far, but these are just my thoughts on it right now. So if you're considering going to grad school for music, you've probably already finished, most likely already finished, um, an undergraduate degree or like you're in your senior year of it. You know, sometimes people will want to go to grad school for music when they did something completely different for undergrad and that is kind of a totally different world. So right now I'm focusing on people more like myself where I did a bachelor of music degree and then I went and got a master of music degree. And you know, if you're like education or other branches of music, this might kind of apply to you, but it's mostly for performance because that's what I've lived and that's the situation that I've been in and that's what I know. So I think that gets the details out of the way. I'm a violist and I've known since probably like my sophomore year of college that I wanted to be a private music teacher and that was my goal. Not really getting into an orchestra, which was my career plan in high school and then like my first year of college, but then I decided I didn't really want that and I liked teaching more and playing chamber music, doing like a few solo things here and there. That's just what I prefer to do. So I knew that when I was applying for grad school my senior year and even then I wasn't quite sure that I really 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 wanted to do grad school but I couldn't really imagine myself just going out into the world. <laughs> so grad school was the way to go because my teachers were telling me that that's what I should do and I figured I don't really know what else I would do if I just graduated and went out into the world. So why not go to school for two more years? And also, you know, I wanted to have that degree under my belt because I knew if I stopped going to school, I would never really want to come back to school ever again. So I figured just get it out of the way and then I'll be done with school forever. And then I can start my life. Like that's one reason why you can decide to go to grad school. If you think like, if I go out into the world now, I'll never come back to school later. And I do want to have this degree. Like, yeah, that's a reason, but I don't think it should be the only reason or the like driving reason for you to decide to go to school for music in a higher education degree past undergrad. So I don't know if I really totally loved any of the schools that I ended up applying to for grad school because I was looking in like the Northeast Mid-Atlantic region of the United States because I didn't want to go to the other coast and I wanted to stay relatively close to my family, my boyfriend's family, just because that was an important goal for us, or not goal, but that was an important deciding factor for us. Um, so I applied, I don't even remember, I think I applied to like seven schools. I used to have it memorized because everyone would ask me and I, ha I would have like a specific order that I'd say the name of the schools in. I think I applied to seven, which was very costly because application fees are expensive. They range anywhere from like 50 to $150. So that times seven was a lot of money to just apply to schools that I wasn't even sure, you know, I didn't know if I'd get in. I didn't know if I would pass this pre-screening. I didn't know if I'd even get the chance to audition there. I didn't know if I'd end up getting to any grad schools at all. That was a lot of money to just throw seemingly away. When I was applying for grad schools, I was like, okay, like I want to get this out of the way. I feel like I can get better at the viola, you know, while I'm still working hard the way that I have been through undergrad. And, you know, I want to, I want to experience a new place, see if I like the area that I end up in for school and if I want to stay there. And I think those were basically my only reasons why I wanted to go to grad school because I couldn't really see a concrete path otherwise outside of continuing my education. Also that and because I do love learning and I wanted to be able to say that I had a master in music, like that's just cool. So 
I ended up getting accepted to two schools out of the seven that I applied to, and I think I auditioned for either three or four. Don't quite remember. But I got into two of them and I was waitlisted to one. And then my boyfriend and I were trying to get into the same schools. Um, he's a double bassist and we were both doing performance in undergrad and then also same thing for our master's degree. So we were looking at the same schools, auditioning at the same schools because we wanted to, you know, live together, end up in the same place, all of that. So um, we ended up getting into the same two schools, luckily. Um, one of them was not quite affordable for me. We had never even traveled to that school, so I didn't really know what it was like. And the other one was the one that we had both auditioned at, we had visited, and we thought like, okay, we can see ourselves going here, this will be okay. And we got enough money to go there. <laughs> but I will say, I don't know if grad school is really worth it. If you're a musician, again, this is really just for musicians. If you're doing any other career path and you're looking for advice for you, please don't listen to this video. I don't know anything about careers outside of music or freelance writing. Like, please don't listen to me for advice if you are not a musician. <laughs> so um, I don't really know if it's worth it to go to grad school if it's not being paid for in full. You know, if you've got a full ride um, and maybe if they're giving you an assistance ship so you're making money through your degree, then maybe it's worth it because like you're working, you're making money, so you're in the green. So, I was not getting paid to go to school. I had to take out more student loans and I did have an assistantship. So I was making money, but like it was $2,000 a year. <laughs> That's like nothing. So that was my situation. And you know, I did not know before I went to grad school that if you take out federal student loans for grad school, the interest rates are much higher and they usually start accruing right away. So I was not really prepared for that because no one really teaches you about student loans. It's terrible. Um, and also there was like a mix up in the financial aid office right when I got there for the semester, uh, my first semester of grad school. And whatever, whatever they had said, it was like the numbers that they sent me were different from the numbers that I had planned on that they had sent me before. And so I thought, oh, cool, I am actually going to school for free and I'm just going to make money on my assistantship. And then I went to the financial aid office to confirm this and they were like, no, you owe like $7,000 or whatever the number was. I flocked it out of my mind because I don't want to think about it. So then I found out that I actually did have to take out loans. So then I was almost late to take out the loans. Like I did it on the last day that you could do. And then it, I was just so frustrated and I, I really just wanted to drop out, honestly, because I already didn't like the area that I was living in. I wasn't really impressed with any of my teachers or classes and I just wasn't happy. And like, I just wanted to leave. <laughs> and I was like, why, why am I paying money for this when I'm not happy and nothing makes sense? So that was, that was my experience. <laughs> You know, I think it's very important when deciding if you want to go to grad school, when you're actually looking at schools to actually visit them in person. I know so many of us are not able to do in-person things right now because of COVID and you know, that's completely understandable, but you never know what an area is going to be like. You never know what you'll feel like in an area until you visit that place. And I felt okay in Connecticut when I visited for my audition, but then when my boyfriend and I went in July, to actually look at apartments. We got there and immediately I just, I felt so anxious and I was like, I don't wanna live here. Like this does not seem like my place. It, I just immediately felt so uncomfortable and I was like, I don't wanna live here. But like I already said, I already told everyone that I'm going to grad school. Like I, I can't back out now. I don't wanna be one of those people that like just doesn't finish school. Even though I had just graduated with a bachelor of music and I hadn't even started my master's degree yet. So it would have been a great time to um, just say no on the whole thing and only waste like a $200 fee to hold your spot. That would have, maybe that would have been nice. But anyway, the pandemic changed everything for everyone. So there's no use on what ifs because 
you don't know what would have happened wherever you might have been if you were somewhere else in the world during covid or you know just in a different state in my case neither of us know if getting the degree was really worth it and neither of us were paid to go to school we both had to take out more loans in order to cover the cost of grad school so we're like was all of this money really worth it because we feel like we're in the same spot that we would have been in two years ago if we had not gone to grad school. And I know that having a master's degree makes you eligible to get more money and you can charge higher rates for lessons, but also experience is equally as important as a master's degree. And if you have so many years of experience teaching, you can charge the same rate as someone who had a master's degree. So it's like, was it worth it for what I want to do? I mean, I learned a bit. I like I'm not saying I knew everything going into my master's degree I didn't and I still don't know everything about music I do not pretend to know everything but I feel like I didn't learn all that much and what I did learn how applicable was it to my actual career I did have one year of like pedagogy classes the first semester of grad school we learned in the classroom like how to teach violin and viola students privately and it wasn't, the school is Suzuki affiliated, so you can get a master's degree in teaching Suzuki on your instrument. But this was for performance majors who are not getting that Suzuki certification. But it was taught by someone who does teach Suzuki, but also teaches non-Suzuki lessons. So it was highly influenced by the Suzuki method, but also gave us ways to teach not with the method. So I spent a semester learning more about how to teach students, which was great. That was one of the most helpful classes that I took through my master's degree. And then the second semester of that was basically like a hands-on student teaching experience thing where I had to sit on so many lessons and then we'd come together once every other week or so and talk about our observations. And then we um, would then teach the student that we were observing outside of their lesson. And then the final was like recording ourselves the final was also during COVID when everything was online. So anyway, that was one of the most helpful classes that I took that directly related to my career. Other than my private viola lessons that I had to do because I was a performance major, that was like the only thing that related to my career of private teaching. Um, during the second year, I did have a like music career class. I forget the name of it, of course. Building a music career, that's what it was called. And then I had next semester communicating with an audience, which was it's basically like how to hold your own concerts, how to communicate online, in person, all these different ways. So both of those classes were also great and they did relate to my career because my career is a music career. So it was directly related. Those four classes were the most relatable classes that I had. They were the most valuable classes that I had. The other classes were like music history, music theory classes. And then of course I had to do orchestra when I was in person, chamber music and lessons, all of which I loved because I do still want to perform as part of my career. And you know, but private teaching is like the main thing that I wanna do. So yeah, a lot of my career felt like just fluff that I had to get out of the way. Um, which was really disappointing because you think of that as your undergrad experience, getting a lot of things out of the way. And then you think of masters being much more streamlined and focused, but I felt kind of the opposite way. Like my undergrad degree, you know, I learned a lot of music history and music theory, but I needed to learn that to understand how to perform music. And then my master's degree, I didn't need that as much because I already knew a lot of it but then I had to do it again and do it again and do it again. And it just felt like getting requirements out of the way. It didn't feel, some of it felt like learning, but otherwise it felt like I'm just getting these requirements out of the way so I can get a piece of paper and make more money. But am I really going to make more money with this master's degree? I don't know. You know, only time will tell that. But I really just think, and you know, a lot of this is probably influenced by the pandemic and where we are in the world right now. and if I had graduated into a different climate, maybe like four or five years ago, things would probably be totally different. Um, but I truly feel like if I graduated 
with my bachelor's degree two years ago in 2019. I guess this is going to go out in 2020, so three years ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> if I had <clears throat> just started my life then, I would have been in the same position then as I am now. And I just delayed it by two, maybe three years by getting this extra degree. And like, I don't know how I'm supposed to make it or do anything. And, you know, the real problem with music school, no matter what level of degree you're going for, is that they hardly teach the things that you need to know to make it in the real world. And, you know, we learn so much academically, we learn so much on our instruments, but we don't learn how to be a real person. <laughs> we don't learn how to have a life. And, you know, there's so many jokes in the classical music world, so many memes about like, I can't, I can't have a social life because I'm a musician. I have to practice all day. But who wants to live a life like that? I mean, maybe some people do. I know there are some people out there who do want to live like that, but most of us don't. And, you know, those things perpetuate this culture of not having a life and being a starving musician. And it's very scary. <laughs> and I just, I don't know if going to grad school was worth it. I don't know if I learned enough to justify that price tag that I now have to start paying off. You know, it keeps getting pushed further and further back, but that I will eventually have to pay off. So it's like, I don't know if it was worth it, at least for me. And, you know, originally I wanted to make a video saying like, are you planning on going to grad school for the right reasons? And I do want to make that video someday with like a list of really valid reasons to want to get that higher degree and then a list of reasons that maybe aren't worth it. And I still want to do that, but I feel like I'm not fully ready to do that yet. But it's been good to at least talk about my experiences. And I hope that hearing about my experiences can help you understand if maybe this is right or maybe not right for you. If it is right for you, that's great. And I really applaud that. I really do. And I hope that you have a great experience in grad school. And if it's not right for you, I hope this video has helped you see that and will help you on your path to finding whatever is right for you in your career. But again, like the world is so weird right now with COVID surging and then dipping back down again and then surging again. And like, there's no predictability. And there already was not much predictability in a music career anyway, that adding this to it makes it so much scarier, I guess. So there are just so many factors and everything costs so much money for not a lot of payout, which I think has been the biggest regret so far for me that I'm gonna have to pay all of this money for something that wasn't totally worth it. And there are so many resources online now, um, especially with the pandemic, musicians trying to find other more sustainable ways to stay in a music career and help other musicians. They've created online courses and ways that you can figure out how to make a music career work. There are so many courses made by individuals that you can purchase that I have found to be so much more worthwhile than grad school. And I learned so much more tangible information that I can use to make my career successful than I learned in grad school. So I really think that a definitive video on this topic isn't really good because it's such a personal decision and there are so many, so, so many factors that go into it that I can't tell you what's right or wrong. Only you can know that. And all I can do is just share my own experience and what I've found to be true for myself over the last almost three years, basically three years since I started applying for grad school. So those are my thoughts right now. And I'm sure I'll make more videos about this subject because I've been planning to for the last three years, basically. Um, but it's hard to think about what I want to put out into the world for other musicians to see and maybe follow or think about because I don't want to lead other musicians down a path that doesn't work for them and isn't sustainable and won't help the cur their career and originally I had thought that getting a master's degree was that right path but now that I graduated I don't know if it is the right path so it's hard for me to say go to grad school for these reasons because it will be worth it because I don't know if it's worth it and I hope that my thoughts right now can help you understand if going or not going is right for you if you want to talk about anything please feel free to leave a comment or dm me on instagram I'm on instagram at like from the viola section I would love to talk to you um, no matter what your thoughts and opinions are, I'm happy to just listen or give you more of my thoughts and opinions or story, whatever would be helpful for you.
So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I post new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern time. Thanks for watching.